Welcome everybody to another chat GPT tutorial and today we're going to talk about task descriptions and project management with AI. Have you ever wished that you had your own project manager to help you stay organized? In a world where written communication is at the foundation and heart of a remote worker's skill set, it's crucial that you have the ability to manage projects, even if you're not a project manager. And if you're here, I imagine you want to improve your skills in project management and organization so that you can land more remote opportunities. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Without the skill of effective task management, without the skill of project management and organization, you are going to struggle to work remotely. You're going to miss deadlines. You're going to have a bad time. So in this ChatGPT tutorial, I'm going to show you one easy prompt, just one, that I use every single time that I want to create a task for myself or for a team member, and it helps us stay Organized. This can be great if you're already working in a remote environment or if you want to show a company that you are capable of working in a remote environment. So stay till the end because this simple prompt can be the reason that you get a job. All right, I'm going to make myself smaller here so that you can see the screen even better. And we're going to go over what the prompt is first. So the prompt is basically telling ChatGPT that it is your project manager. You're my project manager and I need assistance in generating well written tasks descriptions for my team members who use Asana. Now this particular uh, task management system is the task management system that I use, but you can put whichever one in there that you want, or you can take it out and just say, you know, uh, for my team members. I want to ensure that each task description is clear, concise, and includes all the necessary information. Please provide me with a detailed task description for a project titled Weekly Technical Problem Analysis. The task is to look for technical problems of existing toggle systems, products without guidance and offering solutions. Please include the following elements in the chat task description, clear objectives, deliverables, due date and time, all these different things. And then it gives an example output of what the title task looks like, the objective or the description with the objective, the dependencies, the related tasks, the additional instructions, the important links, the subtasks, everything. And then it also reminds ChatGPT to replace all these things. Now, where did I get this weekly technical problem analysis? I want to show you something cool. What I did was I went to a job description for a toggle. This is from remoteok.com, and this is Toggle, a fully remote company, and they're hiring for a remote senior backend engineer. And what I did was I went down here into the main responsibilities because I wanted to use a job description as an example. We'll get to that in a moment why. But you can create with this task prompt you can create a task for anything that you have to do it can be something that you do recurring it can be something that you do one time something comes into your plate and you realize hey this is a task that I need to do you can use this prompt and it flushes out all the little details for you because one of the tough things that people don't realize when they're doing task management is that there are a lot of micro tasks subtasks and things that go into an overarching task or a project so However it is that you hire, you create a hierarchy of those things, it's really great to use something that's comprehensive that breaks it down into its smaller pieces, right? And so for, as an idea for this particular tutorial, I wanted to use a job description and I said, okay, what are these responsibilities do I want to create a task for? Well, I'll do this one. Looking for technical problems of existing system product without guidance and offering solutions. So this is a task that Toggle wants someone to do for this particular role right and there's there's some reasons why i might do this with a job description so let's go back so that's what i put in here right the title of the project and these are in the in the in the basic prompt that you're going to get down below these are unfilled it'll say like job uh, title and and job task or whatever it says and then you fill these things out but this is what it what i i filled out right so weekly technical problem analysis the task is to look for technical problems of existing toggle systems products without guidance and offering solutions. I literally just copied this and I just added the word toggle because ChatGPT is going to know what toggle is because toggle has been around since before ChatGPT was. Okay, and then we're going to go down and let's see what it gives us. It's going to give us the title of the task, weekly technical problem analysis. The task is to identify the solid problems. The objective is to conduct a thorough analysis of existing toggle systems and products to identify technical problems and propose solutions independently. This analysis aims to improve the overall performance and reliability of our systems. 
and now deliverables, a comprehensive report detailing identified technical problems, proposed solutions for each identified problem, recommendations for implementing the solutions. So it's giving us not only the description, but then it goes in and says, hey, based on what it is that you said, these are gonna be the deliverables. And then we have a place here where we can add the due date and time, and then the assignee, and I might give those to ChatGPT later, or I might give that to ChatGPT up front. And then this task, what is it dependent on? Now, this task isn't necessarily dependent on anything else at the moment, but it is essential to collaborate, and there's no direct related tasks, but I will show you how it is that we can get more detailed in a moment. Here's some additional instructions. Start by familiarizing yourself with the existing toggle, uh, systems and products, document any technical issues, challenges, that sort of things, and then the important links. So the toggle systems documentation, previous technical reports, relevant communication channels, and now it gives me subtasks too. Like this just gives me so much rich richness in um, in everything, and that's what I love about it. Is it's it's really giving me a lot here to to look at. So I want to show you also an example of how we can put this in a task management system. So I'll. I'll show that to you in a second and, and just kind of how I do it. But um, I want you to see a few more things that I did. So one is that I went back in the job description and I was like, okay, what other context can I add? Well, in the top here, it says, we're looking for a talented engineer who does this. This is a little bit more about us. This is a little bit more about the role, right? And I was like, okay, this one actually provides a lot of good context of who it is that we're collaborating with and what, did, what are the technologies that we're gonna need to know. And that, giving that, just literally pasting that in here and saying, hey, here's some additional context. Please rewrite the task with this context. It says, sure. Now it adds that as part of the description. It adds that as part of the technologies that we need to know. It adds that into the different parts of the additional instructions. It adds it into um, the entire task, right? So that's something that can help is always giving additional context to these types of task descriptions. And then I went in and I was like, hey, what about those other tasks in here about the main responsibilities? I wanna make those related tasks because those are all gonna be individual tasks themselves. So I said, here are some related tasks to add and then put these in here as just a paste. And, it, and down here in the related tasks section, you can see how it actually goes in and populates related tasks. And now we can go in and create our own task. You could, I could say, create an entire task description for number one of related tasks now, right? Like that's something that you can do. And then all of a sudden now you're gonna get a detailed version of this one. And you can say, oh, I wanna do that with number two as well, or number three, or number four. And, and really the ability for you to maximize this type of technology to be able to create easy, stuff that can communicate in, in between your team, like really heavily detailed stuff that takes you seconds. Like that's what we're really talking about here is like, this is the type of stuff that would take you an hour to write out yourself. And, and just to think of like the, the mental bandwidth that you're taking off by being able to do it this way is insane. So I wanted to show you that. And now let me show you real quick one piece here. I'm like in my Asana. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can take this here. So I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in and copy this to the clipboard. And what I'll typically do is I'll just paste it first in the description and I'll go in and I'll take the title and I'll put the title in here now this is again this is asana asana is a task management platform i'll leave a, a link to other task management platforms and, and remote tools that i think you should know up here somewhere i don't know which side um, because it's really important that you understand how to use some of these remote tools like this is the prerequisite of being capable of working at a fully remote company is being able to understand these types of tools how to use them but not only that, how to use them really effectively and how to be a top 1% communicator by the detail at which you describe your tasks and the detail in which you assign tasks to other people. And you don't even need to be a manager to do this. You need to just be someone who's gonna be collaborating with other people, right? So now what I'll do is I'll erase some of this. I'll keep my description in here and then I'll have my deliverables, my due date and time. This will also be represented in the due date here and the assignee and all those different things, the dependencies, related tasks, I can take and create in a different place. 
and then additional instructions, important weeks, and then I'll take the subtasks and then I'll put them in the subtask area. And boom. Once I add those links and just edit this a little bit further and just make sure that I like the way it's formatted, I can even go in here and specify. Like I can even tell ChatGPT, hey, can you can you elaborate more on the review existing system documentation? These are the types of documents that I, I need. And then I can put that in the subtask area as supporting materials. There's so many different ways that you can do this and it's freaking awesome. And it's gonna make you a very effective remote worker, an invaluable remote worker to any remote team that might want you. So practice this now even before you have a remote job, you need to know these particular things because once you do, you can look at a job description like this and you can create what I would call a value asset. I'll have another video on how to do that in more, in more depth, but think about it like this. If you had a job listing like this out there for a, uh, a company that you really wanted to work at and you were able to develop tasks like, tasks like this, you might send this as a sample to them, like say, hey, you know, I saw that you have uh, looking for technical problems of existing system product without guidance and offering solutions. This is something that I do currently in my role, and this is how I would execute this at Toggle. I wanted to give you a sample of that and how I think about that. And you can use ChatGPT to come up with all the thinking for you. It's pretty easy, right? So that's, uh, that's it for today. I hope you leverage AI to land more remote opportunities in less time by maximizing your productivity and efficiency. If you like this, if you want more, the prompt is gonna be down below for free. And there's gonna be other similar resources you can download. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the other videos as well. And until next time, keep wondering, you're not lost.